Seedling cultivation first needs to have a sufficient supply of viable seeds. Collected seeds must be adequately treated and stored to help save the cost of annual collections and to effectively adjust for years with insufficient seed supply, thus enhancing seedling efficacy. Storage methods for seeds of different species vary. Incorrect methods can result in the waste of seeds and money. Understanding of correct seed storage contributes to effective preservation and utilization. The storage secrets lie in the moisture content and temperature control. Fresh seeds must be tested for moisture content. Seeds to be stored can be one of the following three types depending on the moisture content of fresh seeds. The first type is orthodox seeds, also known as dry type seeds, of which fresh seeds have a moisture content of less than 20 percent. The second type is recalcitrant seeds or wet type seeds, where the moisture content is above 36 percent. The third type is intermediate type seeds, where fresh seeds have a moisture content between 20% and 36%. Intermediate seeds can be stored dry or wet. This film shows how to store the three types of seeds in order to prolong their storage lifespan. 1. Storage of dry type seeds. Dry type seeds in Taiwan include those of coniferous trees such as Pinaceae, Taxodiaceae, and Cupressaceae, and broadleaf trees such as Formosan ash, Formosan mycelia, Formosan alder, Formosan sweet gum, Taiwan golden rain tree, autumn maple tree, Chinese pistachio, Chinese fringe tree, Chinese gugger tree, Taiwan gordonia, Taiwan cork tree, Fabaceae, and most prunus tree seeds. Upon storage, dry type seeds must have a moisture content reduced to around 5%. Once they are dried, the seeds can be preserved over a long period of time under zero degrees Celsius. Devices used during storage include winnowers or electric fans, water or low specific weight solvents, ovens, storage containers, and refrigerators. Winnower or electric fan. Dry type seeds, such as those of Pinaceae, Taxodiaceae and Cupressaceae are often empty inside. A winnower may be used to separate solid seeds from empty ones. When there is no winnower, an electric fan may also be used to blow the seeds and screen solid ones. Water or low specific weight solvent most broadleaf tree seeds can be soaked in water to separate solid seeds that sink to the bottom from empty seeds that float on the surface of water. However, for certain broadleaf tree seeds, such as those of Taiwan Zilkova and Chinese Gugger tree, solid seeds and empty ones do not differ much in weight, and hence wind and water screening is impossible. Under this circumstance, Low specific weight solvents such as pentane or hexane may be used for screening purposes. This type of solvent is toxic and hence operation inside a fume hood is required to ensure safety. Oven To dry seeds, use an oven equipped with a fan and air vents. Drying must take place at 30 degrees Celsius to bring down the moisture content. In dry weather, where the relative humidity is low, 
Shade drying is feasible to reduce the moisture content. Or an electric fan may be used to expedite drying. Storage container. For dry type seeds, after seeds are dried, they should be kept in closed containers, such as closed jars or plastic bottles, or sealed airtight aluminum foil bags away from moisture. Refrigerator. Dry type seeds can be put inside the refrigerator after they are dried and sealed and stored at a low temperature of 5 to minus 20 degrees Celsius. Demonstration of operational flow. For seeds of mature cones from coniferous trees such as Pinaceae, Taxodiaceae, and Cupressaceae, first spread out the cones and let them dry in the shade. As soon as the cones crack, gently knock and flip them to remove the seeds. Then de-wing the seeds to avoid taking up too much storage room. The winnowing approach is adopted to remove empty seeds and foreign substances after seeds are de-winged. The screen solid seeds then go through a drying procedure in the oven or in the shade to reduce the moisture content before they are sampled for the moisture content test. When it's confirmed that seeds have a moisture content of 5%, the drying procedure can be stopped. The seeds are then placed inside a closed container and stored in the refrigerator at 5 to minus 20 degrees Celsius. The storage temperature is determined by the length of storage or seedling requirement. 2. Storage of wet type seeds. Wet type seeds are quite common in Taiwan, including the seeds of Fagaceae and most Lauraceae. These seeds cannot be dried directly and then stored. They must go through moisturizing treatment and then be stored at a low temperature of 0 to 5 degrees Celsius. Sphagnum moss is the best aid for storing these seeds. Before use, soak dry sphagnum moss in water for more than an hour. After that, squeeze it to drain the water. The moist sphagnum moss should then be soaked in water and squeezed again. Repeat the process twice. Then remove foreign substances from the sphagnum moss the soaked and squeezed sphagnum moss should have a moisture content of around 75 to 80 percent. Cut the clean moist sphagnum moss into pieces with scissors or in a meat grinder before placing the pieces inside a plastic barrel with a lid to be ready for use. A sealable plastic bag can be used as a storage container. Demonstration of operational flow. Seeds of Fagaceae or Lauraceae, the fleshy fruits of Lauraceae in particular, must be cleaned up first to avoid mold growth. Clean seeds can only be air dried in the shade for half a day. For wet seed storage, seeds and moist sphagnum moss are first placed inside a sealable plastic bag and mixed fully and retain some space inside because the seeds need air to breathe during storage. Overfilling of sphagnum moss affects the quality of the stored seeds. After the bag is sealed, it should be placed inside a 5 degrees Celsius refrigerator for storage. Beware that the bag must be opened once a month for fresh air exchange. In Taiwan, except for the seeds of a few tropical species on the Hungchuan Peninsula, such as Formosa nato tree, ivory wood, Taiwan ebony, looking glass tree, and coconuts that cannot be stored at a low temperature of 5 degrees Celsius, most indigenous wet seeds can be stacked and stored at a low temperature of 5 degrees Celsius with moist sphagnum media. The storage can last from two months to two years, depending on the species. 3. Storage of intermediate type seeds. Intermediate type seeds can be stored dry or wet as mentioned above. Intermediate type seeds in Taiwan include those of Oldham daphnophyllum, 
camphor tree, fragrant cinnamon, odor bark cinnamon, Taiwan zelkova, common schefflera, large leaved lindera, and small bud neolithia. To store by the dry method, moisture content of the seeds must be reduced to five to ten percent first. The seeds are then stored inside a five degrees Celsius refrigerator. However, the seeds should never be frozen at minus twenty degrees Celsius, because temperatures below zero degrees certainly reduce seed viability. To store seeds by the wet method, the seeds can be mixed with moist sphagnum moss before they are stored inside a five degrees Celsius refrigerator. The length of storage for intermediate seeds is usually longer when they are stored wet than dry. In either case, the length of storage should not exceed one year. Understanding the storage characteristics of different seeds and applying the correct storage method is the only way to prolong the lifespan of seeds and achieve seed preservation. For any questions regarding the measurement of seed moisture content and storage method, please feel free to contact the Taiwan Forestry Research Institute.